For this week's worth of work, we need you to bear in mind everything you've done so far. So your sketching, your idea generation, and your designer research, because all of those elements combined is hopefully going to help inspire you to create your um, chandelier. So we're gonna get a little bit more hands-on for this week. Now, if you think back to week one, you should have had a little look around the home to see what objects that are available to you that you could potentially upcycle. So now's the chance for you to actually go and find those objects and to try and work with them in some way. And something that I think is really interesting is the first little sentence that we've got on this slide. So sometimes the most obvious can become the most interesting. And if you have a look at the image below that, it's simply just some plastic spoons that have been um, chopped off um, so that you've removed the handle and they've just simply been stuck onto a large water container and if you have a look at the overall um, aesthetic of the lamp it's actually quite um, elegant it almost looks like a pineapple so in that sense you could almost say that it has been inspired by natural forms in some way it's very organic in, in the shape that it actually is in terms of the individual spoons but also in terms of the overall product too um, but it actually works really, really well. And I think the thing that is particularly nice about this lamp is how the light comes out um, from underneath each one of those spoons. It almost has a gradient to it, which is really interesting and not something that I would necessarily have thought would happen um, from just sticking some spoons onto a water bottle. So it's a really, really interesting way to work. So um, try and think a little bit outside of the box with this particular section. Now on this page, what they make use of is the same object repeated a lot of times. And that is one way to go about it, but it is not the only way to go about it. Um, so have a think, find as many different objects that you can, obviously objects that are available to you. Don't go stealing your mum's um, cutlery. Um, obviously that's probably gonna be pretty useful. Um, so just make sure that it is stuff that is available to you. Waste material is a really good place to start. So you might have had some packaging boxes or some cereal boxes. What can you do to those to transform those into a chandelier? And what we really want from this week of work is lots of options. So don't just come up with one idea, maybe play around with a few different objects that you could um, use for potential inspiration. If you don't have enough of the same object, or if you don't have enough of any objects, my suggestion to you would be to take a photo of it in the right kind of orientation, um, put it on a, um, a page and then try and sketch the rest of the, the chandelier so we still try and get an idea of what you're trying to convey with that object. Now if you're still quite stuck by this point and you really don't know where to start, something that's quite fun to do and something that um, often generates a lot of ideas is by taking apart old or broken objects um, and see what you can actually find um, within those that you could use. So there might be tiny little cogs or um, little bolts or screws that you could maybe use that would um, help you in some way to create a lamp. Now the image that you are seeing on the far right hand side, that is um, purely objects that somebody has found at the bottom of the drawers in their house. Um, so it's a really great way of making use of stuff that you probably wouldn't really look twice at in terms of um, using again. Um, but it's a really great way of making use of that waste material or the stuff that you don't really need anymore and transforming it into a light. And the, th the nice thing about that product is there's lots and lots of different colors in there. So it gives quite an interesting look. And I imagine it gives some quite interesting shadows as well um, when the light is um, emitted through the objects. If you are still stuck, what you can have a look at is Claire Morgan's exhibition in the Horniman Museum. Some of you may have already seen this, um, but it's really, really beautiful. So it's the image at the bottom. Um, it's a nice spherical object and it's purely made out of plastic bags and fishing lines. So those plastic bags have, have been cut up into smaller little pieces um, and then have, they've been strung up um, to create the overall chandelier shape. This one's really, really nice in the sense that the plastic bags are obviously quite flimsy. Therefore, as soon as there's any sort of breeze, the chandelier seems to move and sway um, as, as it sort of comes into contact with this breeze. So that's a really, really nice thing to think about. So if you've got quite a lightweight material that you're working with, could that perhaps um, add something to your chandelier to make it just a little bit different? So document all of this as you go. Take a lot of photos. Um, of the objects but also try and generate some sketches as well if you can um, just like I said before if you don't have access to all of the objects that you need for this task um, but we really want to start collating 
a lot of different items that we can start using next week when we start with our final design.